Facebook. Yeah. Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. Okay. It's silent. So no signal, right? No, we are we live, right? <laughs> okay. You <laughs> Welcome, welcome everyone to Strubin's <laughs> Fellowship. <laughs> welcome to our Thursday session. Um, share the broadcast with everyone you know. <laughs> and uh, get ready for the word. Uh, otherwise, welcome to everyone. We are here and live. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Like uh, my brother said, we are... What is that again? Defined, yes. Uh, true Christian is defined. Yes. From the scriptures. Okay, uh, that's the uh, the title. So just share, share, share uh, the message with people. Tell everyone that we are alive. We are alive. You know. <laughs> So I decided uh, to cover quite a lot today. Let's okay. Let's uh, cover quite a lot today. Okay. Um, <laughs> we play the music a little bit. Okay. The song that I sang before. Yes, yes. Can you start it? I think two minutes. Two minutes ten seconds. Yeah. Two minutes ten seconds. Okay. So tell everyone that we are alive. Tell, tell everyone that we are alive. We are alive. We are alive. You also said that. Yes, 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 yes. Shit. <laughs> the Facebook uh, link. But the inventor the, the, uh, the owner of the, uh, the name of the parent company is called Facebook. <laughs> that will be and these other subsidiaries. Oh, yes. Other yes. projects are more are better than the initial one. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> oh, so it has to be. You see now. So it could have been on. On anything else. Yeah. But yeah. So if you ever just raise your hand, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless your holy name, Almighty Father. Thank you for this time, Almighty Father. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your increase, Lord Jesus. Father, bless your holy name. Thank you for all those who are watching, Almighty Father. Thank you for those who are participating, Father, and who are being with us, Almighty Father. Yeah. Father, I pray, let your spirit, Father, be released, Father, from the words of my Father. Father, I thank you for all you have done, Father. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for the understanding of the scriptures, my Father. May our message be conveyed, my Father. May it be said to people, my Father. May it be noise that brought my Father. That your glory may be given to you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Uh, so, uh, so we kind of have a surprise. Uh, the questions we were, were supposed to answer. Or you, you can, you can post the video. So we kind of have a surprise that uh, uh, the questions uh, we wrote down on Sunday, the people in the studio are going to be answering. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because uh, we kind of have a. <laughs> it's, a it's, it's a team effort. <laughs> Uh, it's it's okay. 
So to, to do what talking about uh, are you really a Christian? You know, the, the, yes. uh, the definition of Christianity, you know? So... You know, you know, during the week, I had, uh, I had something, you know. How can I say? I was just trying, I just had a statement that that kept on playing in my head. I just kept on playing in my head, and the thing is, it uh, it was it was concerning the things that were happening around, you know, mm. and. You get to a point where you realize that um, maybe there might be a lot of Christ- a lot of Christians who don't know what they are really doing. You know, mm. so it, what this means is it's very easy for you to live your life. Yes. That after someone actually asks you, mm. say, uh, let's say, what religion are you from? Then you say, I'm a Christian. You know? Yes, yes. But uh, some most people, some people who do that. Uh, they don't even go to church. No. <laughs> they don't, the last time they prayed, yeah. no gospel music, nothing. Well, also, there's no such thing as gospel music, but we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> but nothing mm-hmm. that says God in their house or in their life, you understand? Okay. That's what we say, I'm a Christian, because think it's Christian is a culture or oh, okay. something. If you grew up in Africa, you were probably a Christian. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, that's not how it works. It's uh, automatic. <laughs> So, so most people have no idea what they are really doing in life, you know. Mm. They, they just, uh, I don't know, sleep, sleep walk through life, mm. you know. And uh, all right, fine. Let's uh, read uh, Psalms 82. Psalms 82. Psalms 82. Psalm 82, verse 1, in the end I'll read. And I just, uh, I, I try to move very fast. God, uh, God stands in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among the gods. Mm. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Salah. Defend the poor and fatherless. Do, just, ju- do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy, rid them out of the hands of the wicked. This is where I want you to bring uh, your attention to. Mm. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. Mm. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Mm. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like mere men, like men, and shall fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for mm. thou shalt inherit all nations. Mm. I want you to understand something. It says, God stands in the congregation of the of the of the mighty. You know that. It says, yes. defend the poor and the fatherless. Mm. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hands of the wicked. Uh, I, 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 but it seems like David, when I was writing, but it just seems like the rich that do not need to be delivered from the hand of the wicked. <laughs> yes. It says, deliver the poor, poor and the needy. needy. Mm. Read them out of the hand of the wicked. Mm. Is the poor and the needy who are in the hand of the wicked? Oh. Well, what David is saying that these people, if no one delivers them, they are mm. in trouble. Hey. The wicked can do anything with the poor. Yes. And now you mm. say, I think God is no problem with being poor, being poor and all that. God is like, mm. there's a problem. I need to send someone to find a way to deliver the, yes. the need of the poor. Mm. Defend the poor and the fatherless. They can't, they are helpless. Mm. In other words, if you, are, if you are poor, you are helpless. Okay. Now, hey. you hear the Christians confessing other things, but they are still poor, you understand? Mm. Or they are needy. Mm. But I want you to just uh, make you understand a few things. They know not, neither will they understand. They mm. walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. This, well, what uh, the Bible here is saying that these people who are, who are poor, fatherless, poor or needy, and, and all that, they, the reason that they are poor and, and all this is because they don't know. 
Okay. Listen, says, mm. you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Mm. A better rendering says, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make, make you, you free. free. Mm. What that means is that it shall force you out of captivity. Yeah. Listen, mm. the truth shall make you free. Mm. So it, it means that if the truth can make you free, it means ignorance has put you into bondage. Yeah. Listen, mm. ignorance is your cage. Mm. So the only reason someone can be stuck in sickness mm. and not get healed, uh, praying to God for, for, for things and not receiving them, mm. and live in a certain way, mm. but fi- can't find a, a way to break through or so, sort of like mm. live a life which is approved of God. Yes. Is because they are locked in a cage called ignorance. Ignorance, ignorance okay. is actually a prison. Mm. You and this is the so, so it says defend the poor and the fatherless mm. for the the way they live is a manifestation of ignorance wow. and lack of knowledge. Yes. Mm. So when ignorance and um, when ignorance and foolishness gets a hold of a person, mm. it gets the person to be needy and to be poor. Okay. Right. But David says, they know not. Yes. Defend these guys. For now, it's, a, it's, it's an emergency. Yes. <laughs> Save them from the wicked people. For the wicked people are using them as slaves. Yes. Listen. But the real issue is, they know not. Mm. Neither will they understand. Mm. They walk on in darkness. All the, foundation, all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Mm. He says, they walk on in darkness. Yeah. The word darkness. Does not mean when you go out at night and it's pitch black and you can't <laughs> see. It doesn't. Yeah. The word darkness it means a certain a thickness. When when, when you find a, a concentration of stupidity, mm. hey. where, yeah. where, where, where you found <laughs> where you found where you find a place where foolishness prevails. Yes. It That's darkness. Mm. Listen, darkness covers the face of the earth. Yes. So that that is not talking about pitch black, as, mm. uh, so to speak. But it says, uh, God, in him there's light. There's no shadow of turning, isn't it? Yes. It means uh, God is the source of light, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Then you have this, the, uh, the spirit was hovering over the face of the earth. But yes. still it remained dark. Mm. Why did God need to say, let there be light? Isn't himself his light? Yes. Why would the God say, uh, let there be light, if the Holy Ghost is moving around the, on, on the face of the waters? Mm. That light seems like sufficient. Yes. But God's there to say, let there be light, because there's a certain level of darkness that was there. Mm. And he says, they know not, neither will they understand. understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Mm. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Mm. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Yes. And I said, most people don't understand uh, a few things. Okay. okay. You understand? So it says, the reason many people are living in a certain way mm. is because of the darkness that is prevailing upon their lives. Yes. You understand? Mm. So there's a point where darkness is just there, isn't it? Yes. Then darkness gets to a point where it actually prevails. Mm. Where darkness controls your life. Mm. Do, you know, do you know, most people don't understand, most people can't hear what I say. It's so difficult. Let me just uh, expand <laughs> on that issue. When I say darkness can get to a point where it controls your life, mm. what I need to say is everything, everything you do mm. is determined by what is happening in your life. Mm-hmm. If this, you see, if poor people are living their life, you know, there are certain cars they don't look at. Yes. For example, this, there are certain cars they don't look at yes. because of the because of lack. You understand? Yes. The certain level of eating. I'm sure if 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 you hear um, if some of us went to boarding, so <laughs> with a kind of a, a certain level of testimony, yeah. but. Uh, <laughs> When you eat, you're only allowed to eat up to a certain amount. You can't exceed that amount. Mm. Why? Because the leg prevents you from exceeding mm. that amount. Mm. When you buy clothes, you, you can't... It's, it's either this or this. It's <laughs> not both of them. Yes. And if once they're choosing clothes, you can only buy from a certain criteria. Mm. You see what that is? The reason you're, you're suffering all these things, yes. or let's say, 
because they are poor. Let's say during this pandemic, they say uh, uh, company stocks are crashing, or let's say uh, there's no business. Hmm. Like we're talking about uh, the movie theaters yes. because of social distancing. I, I don't need to tell you that there's no there's no business there yes. right now. Aye. So now just imagine you work there, you understand, and you don't have money. Mm. Where will you get the money from? Mm. You know, I understand that in Africa there's a, there's a there's actually a pandemic uh, called hunger. I don't know if people know that one. Mm. You understand? Mm. Yes. So the reason these people, if it, the reason why being poor is not godly, nor is it of God, mm. because it's a manifestation of of struggle. Mm. 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 Which comes from ignorance and darkness. Yes, yes. That's why any Christian will argue that uh, money and all this uh, lack and all this thing mm. has, nothing, has nothing to do with Christianity. Mm. Immediately. Yes. You know that the person does not know the word. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Who says he became poor so that we may become rich? Rich. Yes. Just before you even go deeper in that verse, mm. it says we, he, he has become poor, poor that we may become rich. rich. You understand? Mm. So God did something. Mm. And try, he says, okay, so I want you to understand, the reason they are poor people and needy people is because of darkness. He says, they know not, neither will they understand. Mm. They walk on in darkness. All the, uh, you understand? Mm. I said ye are gods, and all of you are children of the most high. You understand? Mm. But ye shall die like me, a man, mm. and fall like one of the princes. Mm. Hold on. Okay, there's some way I'm trying to get to, okay. And I'm, I'm trying to get to there as soon as possible, as soon as possible. Hmm. But I, I want you to, to, to understand something. The whole reason for Christianity defined here is for you to understand something. When you say, what is Christianity? If you say, yeah, Christian, you say, what is Christianity? Hmm. You mean that some people will say, uh, I am a Christian because Christ saved me. Mm. And the people have other definitions, but all of them invo- involve Christ. You understand? Yes. So let's say, what did Jesus really do? Mm. How did he save him? Yes. Mm. say, I know he died on the cross. So say, why did he actually have to die on the cross? Why couldn't be he be run over by a car <laughs> or jump to jump off a mountain? Yes. <laughs> That's to save. Mm. And why does God have to die for you to be saved? Mm. Why can't he just declare you saved? Yes. You see, most I have op- I have asked you many questions. That most Christians have no answers, no answers to, mm. and immediately means their their salvation is based on uh, mm. assumptions or vain faith. You understand? Mm. So what I want to talk about today is Christianity in terms of uh, by definition, the definition of God, uh, of Christianity yes. given by God. You understand? Mm. Yes. How God defines Christianity. How do you know the way you are living? Mm. You understand? So in the year it says, these people who are poor, they are suffering. Mm. But I'm still finding a way to save them. Yeah. These people who are needy, I'm still finding a way to save them. Mm. They are suffering. But the reason they are suffering is because they know not. Mm. So most people in Christianity or in life, the reason they are suffering is because they don't know something. They don't know something. Says, my people will suffer because of lack of knowledge. Yes. You understand? Mm. It means the only reason that you suffer is because you lack knowledge. knowledge. Mm. You understand? Aye. Most people don't understand this. What, what, what it means to lack knowledge? Mm. To lack knowledge does not mean that you have, you, there's nothing you know you're a dunderhead. Of mm. course, you're, <laughs> you're a spiritual dunderhead in that regard. <laughs> you understand? Mm. In that, you don't know the scriptures mm. or the word of God that can deliver you. Yes. So mm. most people talk about, I need to be delivered, I need to be delivered. Mm. There's something they do not know. Mm. Paul says all things are yours. Yes. Whether Paul or Apollos. Yes. I don't know, is there anything you hear yet? Uh, you know, you, you mentioned uh, something that uh, it says that back in Psalm 82 that, you know, ye are gods. It says that ye are gods. And it says that what? Um, you're all sons of the Most High, but you die like mere mortals. You fall like every other ruler, which already shows something that it says that you are gods. And you're saying that um, when you look at people who are needy or lacking or something like that, and you say that you're defining that uh, if, if you're living uh, in need or lack, you find that you're now living according to those circumstances to say that, you know, yeah. you can't now eat, 
certain things or to a certain degree because of the the lack you now can't uh, look at even certain cars because of the lack you'll be like uh, no i can't look at this you know i need to focus on this you know the circumstances are now defining you they're now determining you the circumstances of your existence imagine mm -hmm. it's it's now something that is determining how you live but it says you're god mm. what 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 limits a god sure. you see so it makes sense to say that, no, it's not godly <laughs> for you to then be like that. That's why you need the word so that you can tap into what, how you're supposed to live. And then like you're saying that they know not just because you don't know. Maybe you don't know that you're a god. <laughs> it says that, in fact, this is, <laughs> this is, Jesus even said it again that you are gods. Maybe if you didn't know, then you should know now. <laughs> the, the scripture is saying it, yes. You see now? Mm. If you say um, they don't know, isn't it? Mm. That they are God, they are suffering. Mm. Now that you have told the person like this, you say, ah, no, you know what? I, I now believe. Mm. And even quote the scripture somewhere. <laughs> but then immediately you ask them, why are you suffering from this? And what's happening here? Mm. I thought you, or something, they'd be like, ah, no, ah, right mm. now I, I delayed, I, I didn't get to buy my tablet because the clothes, the shop clothes, something. Or yeah. I need to buy something mm. so that I can be healed or something. Yes. Or something like that. Or if some, if they go into a disaster, like I don't know if God permits, if God allows, ah. I'll see what happens. Hey. You understand? Mm. After reading the, the scripture, mm. yeah, God. I said, yeah, God. Yes. There's something uh, a man of God said, I was listening to something. It says, most people say that, uh, if you look at a rich person or someone with a wonderful backstory and, they, mm. and their life just turned around all, all of a sudden, it says, yes. that person lived his life or he stumbled into success, ah, he got lucky, he was mm. in the place he was and all that. Yes. Then he said, the problem is, those people who are saying all that kind of thing, mm. they don't know what the person has been saying. Mm -hmm. see, nature has been programmed in a way to respond to a voice. Yes. It? So the same principles of creation are mm. the same principles that were given in Christianity. Yes. Wow. Like, let me repeat again. The same principles of creation is the same pr principles were given in Christianity. Mm. Not only in Christianity, even in the world. In the world. Mm. It says, any man who says to the mountain, move from this place to mm. the other place, mm. and believes and has no doubt in his heart, it shall be so. Yes. Jesus, Jesus didn't say if any Christian says, mm. You understand? Jesus yes. didn't say if any Christian <laughs> says to this mountain, move to this, move to the other place, yes. it shall be so. Mm. No, it says if any person. Mm. You understand? Yes. Now you understand those people who, uh, how a wicked person can actually go to the top. Mm. You wonder how Hitler was doing all that. Mm. Like, why didn't God just uh, do something to stop yes. him? You understand? Yes. He's dead right now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. He was stopped. Yes. You understand? <laughs> but the idea is, how did he even get to where he was, even mm. to do all that? Yes. It's because of his mouth. Yeah. You know Hitler was known by the way he would speak. Mm. You know they would use propaganda and all those things. You know mm. If you see all those uh, dictators and all those, they are good at speaking. Yes. You know they know how to mess you up with their ways. <laughs> you know yes. They know how to convince that you are below them. Mm. That you should be afraid <laughs> of them. You know yes. Same principle as the Antichrist. Mm. You know most people don't know that uh, some things. Now I'm just moving into a, a certain field. Most people don't know some things are hidden in, in the behind the organizations, mm. behind how people behave. Mm. People won't even know that those things are actually demonic. Okay. They said. Yeah, but. <laughs> so it says. It says. You, they know not, neither will they understand. Mm. They, so at first you don't know, isn't it? Mm. Then also you don't understand. It says, my people die because of lack of knowledge. Mm. Not because they don't have anything. There's some information they're feeding on. Mm. Which according to God is absolute foolishness. Yes. Mm. That's it. Darkness prevails on many Christians because of the information that they live by. Mm -hmm. it? If I ask you right now, concerning uh, Christianity, mm. if I ask you, when you were born again, what happened to you? Mm. What changed? 
What have you done since then? Mm. Have you been playing church to till this is uh, since then till now? Mm. Mm-hmm. Are you playing church or you're actually a Christian? Okay. Are you if do you live by Christian principles or or you just attend church services? Mm-hmm. You just sing as other people are singing. Mm. You cry when the song is touching and touches the situation a little bit. Mm. <laughs> then you think it's the Holy Ghost. <laughs> hey. Or you just appear, some people can deliver you every time. Bro, mm. hey. Christian what what people don't know what uh, what Psalm eighty two is? David was prophesying about Christianity. Mm. Christianity yes. is if and if God was a human or was a was a human being. Mm. How do you know this? When Jesus rose from the dead, he says, "I shall ascend to my Father and your Father, my God and your, your God." God. You understand? Mm. And says, "I've given you everything that you need." Isn't it? Yes. It says then you hear John saying. We, it, it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but mm. as it is, so shall we be mm. in this world. Mm. Exactly. So it means, uh, let me read for you something. First Corinthians 2, 1 Corinthians 3, 1 Corinthians 3, verse 21, 1 Corinthians chapter number 3, verse 21, in our read. Mm. Therefore let no man glory in men, for all things are yours. Okay, I'll read again. Therefore let no man glory in men, for all things are yours. What the Bible here is saying, what Paul is saying that anyone who comes and breaks to you or mm. boasts to you has no grounds to do so. Mm. The only way it happens and it succeeds to you, uh, when you say, ah, these people are boasting, these people, uh, they are proud and all those things. Mm. The way, the, the reason it gets to you because you don't know. Oh. <laughs> Uh, whether Paul or Apollos or <laughs> Cephas, Cephas as uh, Peter said, yes. or the world or life or death or things present or things to come, all, all are yours, and ye are Christ, and Christ is God. Mm. So you see, this scripture you might have heard of it, but you, some some people don't have no idea what this scripture is saying. It says, mm. Therefore, let no man glory in men. For all things are yours. Mm. Whether Paul, Apollos, or Cephas, or the world, or life, or death, or things present, or things to, to come, all are yours. Mm. What, what Paul is saying, he says that everything you see is yours. Yes. Everything you desire is yours. Yes. You understand? Mm. Even in the life to come. But then it's very hard for you to find a Christian who says that, who starts living in this reality, saying that everything is mine. Mm. You understand? Yes. I'll, I'll tell you the reason why, here's what I want to talk to you about. The reason why some other Christians think they are Christians or they believe they are Christians whilst they are not, yes. or live uh, Christi- uh, a well. There's, there's a Christian life which has been designed. Mm-hmm. Yes. You go to church on Sunday, you pray, you worship, you get the message and all that. Yes. Then after that, you go home, mm. you continue life. Mm. Then when, when, when we meet you, then you find maybe the Christian is now being delivered. Mm. After going through all this whole process, going to church on Sunday, mm. praying once a day or something like that. Okay. All this routine stuff. Mm. This is a, a typical Christian life. If a, mm. if a typical Christian sees you doing these things, or hears you do, that you do these things, they, they believe you're a Christian. Yes. But none of that uh, may, uh, makes you a Christian. Mm. Hey. Yeah. None, none of that makes you a Christian. Yes. I'll give you an example. If a rich person's child wakes up in the morning, mm. uh, or does a few things, goes to the office, makes his trade, make money and all that and all that and all that. Mm. Then they come back home and they actually go to the father's work and then uh, and listen to the uh, attend meetings and all those things and all those things. Mm. Can you say he's rich because of the things he's, that he does? <laughs> when no. he woke up he was rich, isn't it? Yes. Before he even did anything. Yes. Same thing with Christianity. Mm. Seeing praying too much doesn't make you a Christian. Mm. <laughs> It makes you 
எல்லாம் பேசுகாச்சு பேசுகிறது சீனி <laughs> 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 Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, all the disciples had their, had their, had their own books. Mm. But I think we, we just see a few books. <laughs> that's just the reason for that is another is a story for another day. We we'll want to lose we we'll come off track too much. Mm. <laughs> but I want you to understand all these mm. things you see Christians doing mm. do not make people Christian. Mm. In fact there are things after the rapture happens you see people who continue doing that. Oh. Just the matter the raptors le- as god yes. and you still see people worshiping hey people still, still see gossip uh, songs mm. you understand hey worshiping the lord like put in quotes i don't know if you are watching worshiping the lord praying hey. the lord the reason you pray too much doesn't mean you're a christian or that god answers you mm. because prayer is you pray because you need to be answered isn't it yeah. you don't just pray Mm. to fulfill a routine. Yes. Most mm. some people fulfill a routine of course. Mm. And then we we just pray 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 and say thank you Lord then then they go go or <laughs> or continue doing what they're doing. Yes. Because they deep down they don't truly believe. Mm. Mm. That they will be answered. Yes. You understand? Mm. So there is no so none of these Christian acts even attending church mm. doesn't make you a Christian. You understand? No. subscribing or signing up as a member <laughs> helping the men of god doing all this does not make you a christian actually mm. it makes you one of right <laughs> <laughs> if you serve in the house of god mm. and you're doing it for the lord your your labor is of love mm. but if you serve in the house of god and you're not a christian Mm. and you know doing it for god mm. and in your mind there's a certain level of reward you're thinking of yes. you're a slave because there's no contract for you for payment yes, yes. <laughs> you know yes <laughs> this this is the truth you know so the thing is the reason why all this happens misconception and all this kind of thing mm. is the lack or in of the or, or the inability to judge mm. things mm. you know when i say judge is in an inability to in a, in a, it's an ability to discern or to interpret concepts or to understand what is what in the sense yes yes where we have a problem where Christians just live their life saying they are Christians but they can't be certain is mm. or they can't just live their life well you know they live they they, they, have, they are Christians but they live in fear they don't want to go to hell that's why they are Christians mm. it trust me those people who actually go to hell oh. because that's not the reason why you become a Christian mm. it says if you were if you were Abraham seed Yes. Or the children of Abraham, mm. you would love me because Abraham loved me. Yes. But you do not love me mm. because you do what your father does. Yeah. Because your father is nothing in me, you mm. You are of your father the devil. Mm. The devil hates Jesus. Yeah. That's what Jesus was saying there. <laughs> so the moment you find someone hating Jesus, mm. or in other words, find yourself going against everything that is of Christ, mm. they, are, they are living for the devil without mm. doing it. Mm. You can call yourself Christian all you want but you actually living for the devil. Yeah. You mm. Making principles based on things around you, mm. based on the knowledge you have accumulated in the world, which is called from the Greek word uh, gnosis. gnosis yes. That's how we get the word science. Mm. Okay. Okay. Is, is there a question? Uh no, there's a comment. Enoch is saying amen and to say mm, amen. I get it. You can be prayed to fulfill everything. Mm. Yes. Yeah, amen, yes. Amen, amen. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh Mason is asking a question. Uh, no, uh the other question was for us to post. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. Okay, okay, let's see. So the thing is, many Christians have an inability to judge, you know, mm. 
and figure out. Well, many kids don't know what they are really doing, actually. Yes, yes. They actually don't know what they're doing. Mm. They just live life. Yes. You know and, they, and they, are, they don't know if the rapture is happening, they are waiting for the rapture, <laughs> or they are not waiting for the rapture, they are churches, they are no. not in churches, is this time for church? Is this, are they free? Are they busy? Or anything like that. Mm. That's, that's their life, you know what yeah. Imagine how... Imagine how it's offensive to God to live uh, such a silly life. Mm. Because just imagine, the only reason you do things for God, mm. you pray to God, is you attend the, the maybe you worship with mm. others, or you yeah. fellowship, or you go to church, mm. or you pray, mm. or do all these biblical events or things, or conferences and all that, mm. just because you are free. Mm. It's an offense to God. Mm. Imagine if. Imagine if you are with your <laughs> husband or your wife. Yeah. And uh what well, is that question? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um so I have a reason. I think it's she's asking for confirmation that so lukewarm Christians are the routine people that Jesus was saying he would speak out. Definitely. Mm. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lukewarm people are actually in the camp of the devil. That's yeah. a warning, that, that verse actually. Yeah. Because you're neither hot, you're neither cold nor hot. hot. Mm. You're lukewarm. <laughs> I will spit you out. That's a warning. Mm. That if you're behaving like this, mm. I'm going to leave you. Mm. Not leave you as such, but uh, you, you, you will become a useless Christian. Yes. Yeah. Imagine God concludes that you are now useless. Yeah. See, the reason why, why this is so, why if this thing is all that, all, mm. all these problems, is because. You have no idea what a Christian is. Listen, if I ask you, how did you become a Christian, or when does Christianity start, in from the Bible, because most people, the re- I'll give it, I'll give you how to find out if you are one of these lost uh, sheep, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You know, some Christians are also loyal to your fault. Mm. Okay, I think uh, the issues, the subject today is a little bit. <laughs> Okay, let me just explain to you a few things. Mm. The reason why other Christians don't know the definition. Mm. If you ask them a question, what is Christianity? Mm. They will tell you what the uncle, the way the uncle explained to them. Hey. They will explain to you what the mother grew up telling them about mm. Christianity. Mm. If I ask you, how about God? Mm. Like, uh, God is like, their description mm. is based. Everywhere people say, if God is there, why is there evil oh. in the world? Those people don't know God. Hey. The God they know of is the God uh, they were being told about growing up. Mm. Or the God they looked at you for YouTube videos to find <laughs> who's God. Yeah. How can you find God in YouTube videos? Hey. If you say you are born again, hey. if I say how did you get born again? Mm. The reason, why did you get born again? Mm. And where did you get that, that, that uh, issue? If I ask you who told you you have to be born again? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is your answer? You answer, it says, I found it in the Bible. Jesus said, it says, oh, so now you, you, <laughs> so you choose to believe some of the things Jesus said. And believe your own things. Mm. It says, these signs shall follow them that believe. Mm. You understand? They shall cast out demons. They shall yeah. speak in new tongues. Yeah. You understand? These signs shall follow them that believe. Mm. You believe when Jesus says, if you say, or oh, when the Bible says, if you believe in your heart and confess with the mouth, you shall be born again. Mm. But you don't want to believe in the signs and wonders. <laughs> when he says you shall do greater, just because you have never walked on water, you think it can't happen. Hey. Yeah. You see, most, most Christians are living you know, a selective mm. life. Christian, yeah. You see, <laughs> I'm afraid you're using the actual words to describe uh, people like this. Hey. But, uh, or how to act like this. But sometimes you need to kind of deliver the message in a way with some kind of justice. Hey. You know? Mm. The idea is <laughs> when you live a Christian life, mm. where you are selective, mm. where you look for other portions of the Bible and leave the other portions of the Bible, hey. where you choose this information and reject this information, yeah. but it's from the same book. Mm. <laughs> and your premise for rejecting the other information is because is uh, I don't think it has been done. I don't think I don't say not doing it. Uh. my men of God didn't talk about it. What do you mean your men of God didn't talk about it? Hey. You know, mm. oh, my mother never grew up to tell us. Hey. This is what my father told me. Well, mm. I choose to believe this. Mm. What did you choose to believe this? Hey. I choose to believe this. <laughs> I choose. Let's go to Ephesians 4. There's something I want to show you. You know, when you were, when you're just talking about um, uh, certain certain 
uh, certain beliefs to be like, I never heard this one talk about this. I never heard maybe my mother or my men of God talking about this. You know, when 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 we when you now meet uh, God, you know, uh, He's not going to say what did your mother say or what did your father say or you know, it's going to be a personal thing to say that what what did you do, you know. It's not, it's not a group thing that we're like, right, uh, you know, because Bats is here, I'm in, you know, just like that. But it has to be a personal thing with you, with God, to say, you know, what have you done? You know, it's not a, it's not a buy one, get one free kind of thing. <laughs> you know, you have to be, you have to be in there. We, a personal relationship with God. You see, I like what you said, a personal mm. relationship with God. Mm. So it's not a group relationship where you're like, maybe you're in church. Mm. And if you attend church long enough, Mm. You're now part of the church. Yeah. When the rapture happens, all of you go. Yeah. Both of association. No. <laughs> association association has its limits and to a its extent. Mm. Okay, I want, I want to read you a few things. I just wrote this information down somewhere. You know? So Ephesians. Yeah, before we go to Ephesians. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I uh, just want to you to understand. A good number of Christians live a life which is contrary to what the Word of God teaches. Mm. Most Christians live based on sensory perception. Mm. So they deal with the world, the Word of God using the world's standard of judgment. Mm. You understand? I, I, I wrote this somewhere in, the, in well, when we post this information. But I just want to explain to you what, what this means. When I say a good number of Christians live a life which is contrary to what the Word of God says, or teaches rather. When mm. it says, uh, the, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Mm. What David was saying that the Lord is my shepherd, mm. there's nothing I like. Mm. Immediately you hear a Christian quote that verse. Mm. Then when you ask them, uh, how about this issue? Like, I know this, I'm organizing with my uncle to get this one, yes. but I don't have this. How come I know uh, the food issue is there's, there's a shortage? Mm. Sometimes if they start applying word principles. Yes. So it means most Christians read the Bible. Mm. They actually read the Bible maybe once a day or three times a day even. Mm. Listen, reading the Bible. Mm. But as soon as they read the Bible, they close the book and it ends there. Hey. When they go to pray, they pray the way they, 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 they think. Hey. They speak the way they think. They mm. live the way they think. Mm. Then you ask them. Then you can actually see that the Christian is reading this or mm. even speaking about this, mm. but never applies it in their life. Hey. Uh, there's a man of God who was talking about this and I was watching a session. Mm. If you have wisdom in you mm. and you actually know that you have wisdom and you, or you say you know something and you have wisdom mm. and then don't end up applying it, mm. it means you're not intelligent in the way you operate. Mm. How can you suffer when you know how to uh, the solution of something? Mm. How can you be trapped in a room holding the key in your hands? Mm. Mm. There's a level of, uh, of uh, Lack of uh, understanding. Mm-hmm. Isn't it? Mm. So most Christians read the Bible, mm. but they find themselves trapped in ignorance. Mm. Isn't it? Up to the point that you read the same verse with them and actually figure out that, that they actually don't know what they're talking about. Mm. Isn't it? Mm. it says, by your words you shall be condemned, condemned or justified. Yes. By your words. Not by the things you've read. Mm. Not by what your pastor said. Mm. Not about, what, not about what, what you had. So you understand, you, if you are deceived on earth mm. and you die in your deception, mm. God shall say, what, the, what did the prophets say? Yes. The moment the idea went, who are the prophets? Then mm. you know that you, you, you can't go into heaven. Hey. <laughs> but mm. the prophets, says we are children of the prophets. Mm. In other words, when it says no, no, no prophecy is of private interpretation. Mm. You're talking about scriptures. Yes. So what did the prophet say in the Bible? What did the Bible say in other words? <laughs> hey. The moment I ask you, let's say you talk about uh, maybe a sickness mm. or maybe a COVID mm. or a pandemic yeah. or other, other uh, maybe d- if you debate with your friends and you know all that. And if I ask you, how do you how, what, do you, what does the Bible say about this? The moment you can't find a verse or anything to say what the Bible says about what, what, what you're talking about mm. or what you're dealing with, immediately 
immediately, we know that you are not living from the word. Mm. Because if I ask you a question concerning the word of God, maybe concerning the, the way you are living, or, the, or your principles, mm. or maybe you are reading some document, hearing what the other people are saying. Mm. Maybe you're, you're studying something. Maybe you are re, you're, 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 you're doing a course or something like that. Mm. And you're saying all principles and throwing out all science and all this. And then I ask you, what does the Lord say concerning what you just said? Mm. The moment you can't find an answer, it means you're not, you're not living like a Christian. Mm. Mm. It means they're living with the... So those, those documents you're reading, that information you're getting from where you're reading, mm. or the course you're doing, mm. most people actually worship their co- uh, or or i have joined a religion mm. which is their what they're studying mm. Listen. their true god is their cosmic mm. but says the word in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god mm. Listen. and the word became flesh and, and, and all that understand so yes. you read the bible you're reading a description of jesus christ yes. and understanding and how to receive him mm. and receive him truly yes so so the moment Everything in your life is based on things that you read, mm. you mm. things that you study, and, and all this. Of course, that information is necessary, mm. but Christians are not called to be dumb. Yes. Mm. They are called <laughs> to use a, a higher level of wisdom. Yes. If there's a high level of wisdom, meaning there's a lower level of wisdom, mm. but it's still called wisdom. Yes. Because <laughs> we are called to live at a high level of wisdom. Mm. So you mean, like just like say when you are increasing from glory to glory, you understand? Mm. Meaning the, the previous glory still has glory, mm. but yes. has a glory. Yeah. I think when we were talking about last week, that uh, the Jews are still Jews right now, isn't it? Yes. They are living in the Old Testament as we speak, yes. you understand? And the Old Testament is at a certain glory, because mm. God was talking to them. Yeah. So you mean, they are still living with the same power and the same glory mm. right now. So if it's glory to glory, the previous glory is a glory. Yes. Say. So what I'm, the premise of what I'm talking about, or what, 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 what I'm teaching, is the ability to judge things. You understand? You understand? Mm. When you pray, what is the motivation of praying? Mm. Are you actually, do you say, do you tell yourself that you're talking to God? Mm. When, you, when you worship, do you know who you're worshiping? Mm. Do you know God? Mm. Do you know who you're talking to? Mm. Okay. Um, By world's standard of judgment, I mean the use of worldly principles to interpret a divinity, which means most people live with idiotic ideologies because they want to understand spiritual things using the principles associated associated with sensory perception. When the Bible says we Mm. walk on... um, uh, there's a question on Instagram. I don't know if it's on Instagram. Yeah. Um, so what this is from this is from I'm going to guess that it's from Solomon, and he's saying that. Wait, let me see the question. He's saying he said if a Christian is asked why they are are one. They say so. Uh, I don't understand what this means, but I'm going to read it just as it is. Yeah, just read it as it is. It says, okay. You say if a Christian is asked why they are one, they say so, they don't go to hell. The way I see it, it comes back to us Christians who spread the word. A man asks you why should I bother believe? Should I bother believing in Christ? Mm-hmm. What should be your go-to reply? So I guess he's asking if someone asks you, why should I be born again? Why should mm-hmm. I be saved? What should be my response? Uh, okay, so this is now a question of evangelism, isn't it? Mm, yes. So it says, uh, it says, if a Christian asks uh, why they are one, isn't it? Mm. Just because I don't go to hell. It means that person is not really a Christian. Mm. Because a Christian, well, it says, uh, when you become a Christian, you die with Christ and you are risen with Him. Mm. 
Yeah. You are born again. You are mm. born not of incorrupt of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible seed. Yes. Meaning you are born from heaven. Mm. Meaning you have become a new creature, a new yeah. creator, someone yes. that has never existed before. Yes. So the, the the reason why they would ask, why should I bother believing in 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 Christ? Mm. Immediately you 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 see their life and yeah. there's, there's an element of lack in their life. Mm. Sometimes they can actually have money. Yeah. They can have all, all the things, mm. but the truth is, some people may not have the peace of Christ. Yes. Some mm. people may may live a life of uncertainty. Mm. They can die anytime. Mm. Yes. Some people are, are in trouble. They are in quarrels and all those things. Mm. But some of they strongly believe I don't need Jesus. But the thing, mm. most people think Jesus is there to restrict their lives. Mm. They don't think Jesus is there to enhance their lives. Yes. 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 Mm. So what you speak. Is you preach the good news of Christ. Yes. The gospel of Christ means the good news of Christ, or nearly too good to be true news. Yes. But for you to speak the good news of Christ, you have to actually know the good news of Christ. Mm. And then we talk about that. When you extract the word from the scriptures, yeah. when you know this is the true word, this is the good news of Christianity, mm. when someone lives, a Christian is a person who is not a human being. Mm. That's what this is. Yeah. Christianity is God in flesh. Yeah. That's it. He says, he, I have said ye are gods. gods. So ye yeah. have become something else bigger <laughs> than you, you were when you were born. Yes. Then, mm. It means whatever you sickness you, 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 may, you may be suffering mm. or ignorance that actually has been happening around you or mm. lack or suffering that has been around you, mm. it is all a lie mm. and a barrage. Mm. The truth is everything is yours. Yes. Greatness is in you. Mm. you know yes. So what you tell the person you have to tell them the good news of Christianity. Yes. Listen, what Christ really does. Mm. And for you to know what Christ really does, you have to study the scriptures. Yes. Because Christ makes you something that you have never been before. Yes. That's not the... That's not the I don't know how to go into, into the... Into, into details or into other subjects. But we start talking about other, other issues. That <laughs> or we start focusing on that issue. Mm. So I want you to understand that... Um, when you become a Christian, mm. you are now subject to different rules of life. Yes. You understand? Mm. When you are a Christian and you are successful, mm. you will know no matter what happens, you will always be successful. Yes. But when you are in the world, you have to make sure you are not in the movie industry. Because <laughs> <it's, laughs> if you are in the movie industry, mm. you are actually going to get broke. Yes. There is no one going to save you. Mm. You understand? Mm. If you are in Christianity, you have peace that Christ has that gave the word. This is the peace in the midst of disaster. Yeah. When COVID hits, you are not shaken and moved. Mm. When anything, whatever they come up with, it doesn't affect you or harm you yes. or frighten you. Why? Mm. Because you are heavily defended. Yes. You have a peace in you. Yes. But some people panic at the, at the sight of danger. Mm. They have no idea. You understand? Yes. That's how. That, that's why uh, Elisha would tell Gehazi that. They will that, that be with us mm. are, gre- are greater than they are, that be with them, or yeah. more than they that be with them. Yes. Elijah had a certain peace mm. that Gehazi did not. Yeah. So the guy was asking that question is the one who's ge- like Gehazi. Mm. When things hit, uh, <laughs> when everything goes south, so to speak, yes. or when they, they take uh, their business or, or their stocks, mm. or there's a quarrel, yes. or there's a fight, or something like that, mm. immediately. They start panicking. Yes. But a Christian will never panic. Yes. Yes. A true Christian. Mm. Other Christians who will panic. These are people who live in fear. Mm. Mm. There are Christians who live a life of being massaged. Yes. Their feelings are always massaged. In nature. For, or, or, or just a uh, few things. Mm. So you can get to a point where you live a lie. Mm. The moment... Your truth is subject to your feelings. Understand? Yes. The moment uh, a word of God mm. gets to you and you get offended, mm. or you feel like someone has overstepped, yes. doesn't you know that all of you will feel that we're offended? Yes. We talk about the church of the offended. <laughs> it means you, we are all living in the devil, not in Christ. Yes. There's an ability to actually live in the devil. Mm. Sure. And the thing is that most people don't understand that God is a God of perfect, perfection. Yes. He doesn't entertain. Um, he, he doesn't entertain a, a mediocre life. Yes. Mm. When I, I, I'm, I'm actually living. Yes. People who are living in unrighteousness. Mm. Let me tell you why. 
the reason you are righteous, the reason you are holy, the reason you are blessed, the reason you have peace, the reason you have you one leg, or the reason you are you have immortality on the inside of you mm. is because of what Christ has done, not of what you have done. Yes. So as a Christian, you're supposed to live saying that you are perfect because that is the truth of Christianity. Yes. Not because you are perfect, mm. not because you didn't sin, yes. but you have believed in him that mm. justifies you. Yes. Therefore, you are justified because of what, what he says. Yes. So it means even if you make a mistake, and a Christian says, mm. this person is a sinner, mm. according to God, you are a wonderful child. Yes. Well, you have believed in him. Mm. So now we're looking at God's definition of things. Yes. Mm. You understand? Mm. So that's just another... So yes, we, 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 uh, we, uh, uh, So there's a question from Hazel. She's saying, so is there a problem on initially wanting to be a Christian so that you don't go to hell, um, then realizing later on, Kuti, that's not the point, or being on starts from a changed mindset? So that, that brings us to who was preaching to that person about him. Yes. Like, was it, before you become a Christian, how did you know about him? Yeah. <laughs> it means some people are preaching the wrong thing. Mm. Hell is a consequence of not being a Christian, yes. not the motivation to be a Christian. <laughs> oh. Yes. Hell is a consequence of being a Christian, Christian. not the motivation to be a Christian. Mm. So the moment. <laughs> not being a Christian. <laughs> it means some, some preachers are scaring members of the church. <laughs> Some sort of uh, tactics now to evangelize. Ah. Like I just put hell out there, then people mm. will like come running yes. and I'll give them something. Mm. No, the moment you hear about hell before the good news of Christ, mm. it means the preacher is a problem. Yes. But uh, however, the reason why you might become a Christian because of hell, because you're afraid of hell, mm. it means you become a, your motivation to become a Christian is based on fear. Yes. And fear mm. is of the devil. That's why mm. God says, I've not given you the spirit of fear, fear. Mm. but of love and the power and of a sound mind. Yes. You understand? Yeah. So when you live, when you become a Christian because you are, you are afraid of hell, it means mm. you have become a Christian because of fear. Yes. So fear is your motivation. Yes. Fear is your word of God, so mm. to speak. Aye. <laughs> fear is the word you are living by. Yes. So you are born to fear, mm. not born to the Christian. To yes, yes. But, so when you encounter a person who's afraid, who wants to be a Christian because uh, they are afraid of hell, mm. you preach to them on the good news of Christ. Yes. That's the reason you should become a Christian because mm. being a Christian, you are living a higher life. Yes. Mm. You are living a life of divinity. Mm. Everything about you as a Christian is upgraded. Yes. yes. Mm. Everything about you is upgraded. I want to show you something very interesting I, I found out also from the scripture. Mm. You know, just, uh, just, just to add the, you know, it says that the goodness of the Lord brings all to repentance. Yeah. So, you know, when, when you hear the good news, it, when you hear the word of God, rather, it will bring you into repentance because it's that good, if you know what I'm trying yeah. to say. <laughs> if you continue going in the word and you actually see what God says about you, to be honest, sometimes you can even be shocked yourself to be like, what? Can this actually be true? You know, um, just, uh, okay, maybe let's we'll talk about it another time. But, but you know, it, the goodness, it, when you hear the word, it's not supposed to bring you into some sort of bondage. It's supposed to liberate you. It's supposed to open your, your mind to be like, oh, I didn't know this. I can actually do this. Then you want to go further. It's almost like uh, if you're reading a, a book, you know, if it's interesting, you know, you want to keep going. But if it's not, you know, you, you, you stop reading that book. And it's the same thing with Christianity. If somebody comes to you with fear, you know, I tell you, give it a few months or days or weeks, yeah. you live, you'll be back in that life. Yeah. That's when you hear people now saying that, ah, you know, we'll be in hell together or something <laughs> like that. You know why? Because there's no goodness out of it, you know, because it, in fact, it actually, if, if you hear about being preached to about hell and stuff, right, yeah. you're now into Christianity under fear. Yeah. And then it puts you into bondage. Because this is why you, you, you end up finding people saying that, you know, Christianity, it restricts us, it doesn't want to do this. Why? Because you're under fear. You, you're not under a liberation, you see. Yeah, your you, motivation is fear. Yes. Your fear is now putting you in bondage to be like, no, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this. You're, you're in constant, uh, you're, you're, you're in a constant um, consciousness of your wrongdoings. But what does the word say? The word, like you say, that the, the true word of the Lord is say that you are a child of God, that you are lovely, you are perfect. That is the truth, you see. But fear is telling you what? That no, you're not perfect. You see how we can... Perfect. Yes, you see. No one is ever perfect. No one is ever perfect. God and, said that I have yes. no perfect flesh. Mm. 
but they have no idea what what is God say after after Christ. Yes. You see, yeah. So the good news is what brings you to repentance. It has to be something that liberates you. Yes, it says, "Amen, good be." Okay. You know. <laughs> amen. Okay. Uh, amen. Uh, she felt that one. <laughs> okay. <That's> right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> No, it's not good enough. I wanted to read the uh, mm. uh, Second Corinthians, uh, First Corinthians, chapter number two, uh, verse four. In mm. the read, it was uh, of time. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words mm. of men's wisdom, but in the demonstration of power, of yeah. spirit and of power. Mm. Says, Christian does not end with words. Yeah. It's actually in the demonstration of power. Words, yeah. I'm just telling you about the demonstration of power. Yeah. Because Christianity is more demonstration of power than mm. is really of speaking. Yeah. So when you get to a person, a Christian who just talks, talks, talks too much, <laughs> then there's a problem. You know, mm. Because Christianity is in the demonstration of power. Yeah. When, when I tell you a word, it says, mm. be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't have to say in the name of Jesus, be healed, may healing enter, may you be filled with such a, with a certain level of healing. When hey. God comes to you, he heals you, all those things. Hey. No, no. Mm. The moment you find yourself declaring too much, mm. I like what I want my men of God say. <laughs> As lead to faith yes. causes you to speak mm. and declare stuff. Yes. And then when you have little faith, you move around declaring a power. Or something, I don't know, you know, I, I, we, there was time. <laughs> okay, because of time. Then, yes. after, after that, he calls you to speak, isn't it? And mm. declare stuff. Mm. Then we ask you about singing, like, hey, this is singing, is that? Yeah. This is, uh, I don't think it's working. Uh, maybe I need uh, someone to pray for me. Yeah. That's how, well, little faith, it, you, you get stomped along yeah. the way. You yes. Know? <laughs> With great faith, you mm. speak. Yeah. Because you, st- mm. you just speak. Mm. Or you just say, when sickness come mm. in your body, they say, never. Mm. You don't even need to say the name of Jesus. Yeah. But it's not a, it's not a password. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but they say never, like, right? no, you, the healing does not happen until you enter the right keys, the yes. right password, the right <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Mm. If Jesus. If you say in the name of Jesus, Jesus is not his, 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 his name. That's not his name. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Jesus is not his name. It's not his name. Yeah, his name is Jesus is English. Yes. Uh, I tr- trust me, Jesus never <laughs> spoke English. <laughs> Jesus never spoke English. Hey. So how does it work? That's it. It works. He says, okay, now. Now I'll show you how it happens. Mm. My speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of men's wisdom, but mm. in the demonstration of power, of spirit and of power. Yeah. That your faith should not stand in wisdom of men, mm. but in the power of God. So mm. when you talk, 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 talk too much, it becomes your wisdom. Yeah. It, beca- it becomes how good you are at speaking. Mm. And hey. then, you know, to be, hey, like, hey. <laughs> yeah, because when he speaks, hey, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when he starts preaching, he's mm. now, he's, he now knows it's dangerous. Mm. But where is the power? Ah. Let's focus on <laughs> Let's focus on the spirit or the word. But when the word comes in you, you get born. You see, they excuse themselves. Mm, when mm, there's mm. no power, you it's easy to you give yourself excuses. Yes. Mm. Hey. Why excuses are, are are comfortable than facing the truth? Yes. Mm. Then, excuses excuses is a it's a it's when you have decided to become comfortable with incompetence. Mm. Hey. Hey. When you get to a point where you're now in comp- when you're comfortable with incompetence, hey. excuses start pouring out of your spirit. Hey. Yeah, the, 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 the anything, uh, it will come out. Uh, there's no situation that you can be put without an excuse. There are actually some... <laughs> What's that? Yeah, pleading the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways. What's <laughs> that? Uh, hmm. I... Excuse... Mm. Is when, you, when you start speaking excuses, when you start giving excuses, it means mm. you've you reached a point where you're comfortable with incompetence. Hey. Where you're satisfied with misery. Mm. You know when you know when you accepted misery as your portion, hey. that this is now who I, how I am. Mm. Anything you said, to, anything someone says to you, mm. you'd be like, yo, ah, you know, that's life. Hey. <laughs> ah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> let me just do this first <laughs> before you get carried away. But mm. remember, 
Anyone who excuses know that they're, they're, they're comfortable with incompetency. You don't mm. have to ask if are they competent, know that they're incompetent. Mm. Um, that's why we're saying I'm a bad. Yes. 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 It says, um, how be it, we speak wisdom among them mm. that are perfect. Mm. Yet not wisdom of this world, mm. nor of the princes of the world, yes. that come to Lord. Mm. This verse they actually, you actually can miss it. Hey. Yes. How bad we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Mm. Mm. We speak wisdom. We don't speak about wisdom. The things we speak is wisdom. Wisdom, mm. yes. Wisdom comes out of our mouth and causes changes. Mm. So it says, I don't come with you with enticing words, yeah. but with this demonstration of, of spirit and of power. Mm. Mm. As you speak as a Christian, like there's some yeah. Christians you can just sit with and they start speaking to you. Mm. Not because they're trying to teach you a message. No. They give you a few words. And those seem like simple words, but yeah. they come with a heavy dosage of the spirit of, and power. Yeah. When it's released like this, mm. it hits you and be like, thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. When the person is healed, yeah. when the person is delivered, mm. says, as soon as you say those things, I, I, I could not let go. Yes. There's a certain <laughs> peace that, you, that they came with. Mm. I could just not have enough. Yeah. That's it. Mm. You know, that people, when Jesus would speak, mm. they would sit at his feet for days, for three days, yes. without eating. Mm. Mm. Listen to Jesus. <laughs> Yo. What kind of talk is that? Yeah. Like, how, what, what, what message are you preaching? Yes. The moment when you're preaching, a preaching starts exhausting you, mm. you're exposing your immaturity. Mm. Hey. But you can't you can't understand the words yeah. or discern the spirit behind the words. Yeah. So you sleep. Mm. Sure. You understand? Yeah. Why? Because it's not your level. It's, not your... <laughs> it's too it's too much now. It's too much. Imagine hey. if you if you take a kid in the boardroom mm. and people start explaining financials. Oh. In a few seconds, you don't need a lullaby for this <laughs> one. They'll be out. <laughs> you understand? Yes. So the moment you find yourself sleeping in church continuously. Mm. Or you find church is too long. Mm. No, you know, uh, when I was a little younger, uh, church, uh, mm. uh, you know, uh, I, would, I would not mention. So, uh, when <laughs> we go to church, isn't it? Yes. It would be like an hour or so, but just that hour is just the longest time of my life. Hey. I, you know, I did not actually want it. I loved God. I, like, I need to know more about God. Mm. But this thing is taking too long. <laughs> <laughs> this thing takes too long. Yes. Okay. Mm. But then, as I grew in Christianity, I could watch maybe mm. a sermon for mm. the whole day. Mm. Literally, just keep going. I mean, maybe for three hours, four, day, four hours. Yes. So the sermons we watch, we mm. don't attend church. Yes. An average of three or four hours a day. Yes, yes. Every Sunday. And trust me, most some of the times, you see, like, oh, is this ended fast today? Yeah. Hey, today? <laughs> After four hours, they say it's ended fast. Yes. What, what do you mean it's ended fast? Mm. Yes, and there's a certain level where the word becomes delicious to you. Yes. Where your spirit starts connecting with the word of God. Yes. Mm. When, it, when the word becomes real to you. Yes. When you, it's no longer just a testament. When, when, when you're no longer just hearing the testament of Jesus Christ. Yes. Or the will or the contract of the covenant of Jesus Christ. Mm. But mm. you're now living and you have a testimony of it. Yes. And then you, something comes out of your spirit and says, Amen. Yes. <laughs> or oh, hallelujah. Yes. Or oh, dear God. Yes. Or be like, wow. Or oh, what? Mm. Mm. Or you find yourself just jumping. Yes. <laughs> or getting excited. Mm. You see, Kuzi, mm. there, are some, there are times, or most of the time, mm. when you start speaking mm. about the Word of God. Yeah. And start talking about principles and scriptures. Yes. There's a time we actually went through the whole night. And <laughs> until, we checked the time, it was five. I was like, what? Yes, I remember. <laughs> I thought it was two. Yes. It was five. Mm. That was like three hours later. Yes. <laughs> later than the time I thought it was. Oh. So the, now when you find the word becoming boring for you, mm. it means there's something which is becoming exciting to you. Yes. Mm. Hey. yes the devil's information becomes exciting to you. Mm. But the Christian is agitating. Mm. When you hear some songs which talk about nonsense mm. and you make a playlist hey. of 13 songs talking about rubbish hey. <laughs> and they fulfill you. Hey. Some people even post, this is my mood. <laughs> <laughs> Something that is mm. never in the Bible. Hey. Then they go and say, I'm a Christian. Mm. I'm a, me, I'm a Christian. They take the box. Hey. Just because you can't say a certain thing. Oh, mm. you're afraid of going to hell. Yes. 
Mm. Or you can't afraid you can you are afraid of the feeling of not having any God, mm. just living aimlessly. Yeah. You see, the Bible talks about people who have been seared with their hot iron, who have their conscience seared with the hot iron. Mm. They've been seduced by demons. Mm. And we live by the doctrine of devils. Yeah. This is this is I think in Timothy, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. They operate by seducing spirits mm. and live by the doctrine of devils. Yeah. The doctrine of devils is not hell Lucifer. That's not the doctrine <laughs> of devils. <laughs> that's mm. not uh, that's a doctrine for another cause. Mm. Because <laughs> hell Lucifer is not the doctrine of devils per se. Mm. When you operate uh, out of Christianity. Yeah. When you say you are operating by doctrine of devils or you are not living a, a, a righteous life, mm. what to say that your decisions are inclined to the principles of the world. Mm. They are not inclined to God. Yeah. But not saying you are lying too much or mm. you are gossiping too much. Mm. That will all fade away when you stay in the word of God. Yes. But you have no time for the word of God. Mm. So you, 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 the principles, the, the most people don't know something. Mm. I'll, I'll give you something which is a little bit psychological concerning the word. Mm. Today, if I come and say something negative to you, mm. it will never leave you until something in you destroys it. Yeah. If I say a statement that you will never be rich in your life, you, mm. and I leave you like that, mm. whether you believe me or argue me, it doesn't matter. Mm. If that thing will remain in your spirit, yes. or you will remain in your mind, or mm. in your subconscious, yes. until something in your spirit successfully convinces that that statement that you are going to be rich. Yes. So what the devil does, he plants seeds through words. Yeah. That those those uh, people who are not of Christ, who who find it boring mm. to live around Christians, mm. who find it uh, uncomfortable, or who, who are not interested in, in church, they say I'm not interested in church, I'm mm. not interested in, uh, in worship. Mm. Uh, to some of them they have a point. Okay. But some Christians they play Christian, play church too much. Yeah. They're not yeah. in Christ. Mm. Because the most Christians I'll give you a, a, a what's happening. Mm. Christians are live are worshiping, are praying, are fasting, are doing all these things. Yes. And you ask them, they say they are doing it for God. Mm. But God doesn't know that they did it. Yes. <laughs> You go to heaven like God, Jesus. That is not men, not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Mm. For in that day, I shall say, I, I do not know you. This mm. is, we prophesy in your name. Yeah. We cast out devils in your name. Mm. These are people actually using something. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. They just say, I, I don't know you. Mm. Is just, the reason Jesus does not know you is because mm. you, you live your life thinking, uh, opposing people who gossip. Mm. Like, ah, that person lies too much. That mm. person sleeps around. That person does that. That's what you. That's what you do as a Christian. That's what you're known for as a Christian. Yes. Identifying uh, uh, prostitutes. Mm. Mm. Hey. Identifying liars and gossipers. That's hey. who, that's your job description yes. or mm. your curriculum vitae concerning mm. Christianity. Yeah. But when you ask the other things, you are incompetent mm. and you give excuses and you're comfortable with it. Hey. But the, what we're talking about, uh, when you say the definition of God of Christianity, is when you are in Christ, you do mm. everything from the point of view of the Lord Jesus. Yes, yes. You pray from Jesus' point of view. Yes. You worship from, from the... Uh, from, uh, okay. So everything you do mm. is from the point of view of God. Yes. Mm. So you say, are you a truly Christian? You mm. have in everything, trust mm. me, mm. Don't let, never let anyone lie to you. Mm. And say, never let anyone lie to you. Everything in Christianity, you mm. decide. Yeah. Yeah. You decide if you want to get healed or not. Mm. You decide if you believe in miracles or not. Mm. You decide if you believe what can answer you or not. Yeah. You decide if you want to serve God or not. Mm. You decide if you want the word of God to live in you or not. Yeah. If you want to live by the principle principles of righteousness or not. Mm. There's not there's no decision made for you. If there's a decision being made for you, is it, it, it means you have submitted or you have become a slave mm. to whoever's making the decision for you. Mm. That's it. Mm. You'd actually have made a decision mm. that a certain person makes a decision for you. Mm. A certain man of God, whatever he says goes. Doesn't mm. matter what the Bible says. You understand? Mm. You'd have made that decision 
you actually making a decision. You're going to be held accountable for that decision. Mm. God is not going to hold you accountable for sin or all those things. Yeah. The real sin is that decision. It says, by your words, you shall be justified or condemned. Mm. So when you, let's say, for example, you're a poor man. You keep identifying your poverty. You keep identifying the things that are, are making you suffer. Mm. That is all a lie. Because Paul says, all things are yours, mm. whether death or life. Or poor Apollos or Cephas, yeah. life or death, the earth, everything is yours. Yeah. Meaning the truth, the reality of Christianity mm. is you have an abundance in your spirit. Yeah. But because you have refused to believe it, mm. it will not work for you. Yeah. It means you have success, you have publicly mm. decided to live a life. Yeah. You know and therefore your Christianity becomes ineffective. Mm. You know yeah. You're not living in unrighteousness because your mindset mm. tells you that science will give my decision more than the Bible. Yeah. When the word science says something, you never go check what the Bible says about it. Mm. We're talking about uh, people who, who are talking about uh, I think they're talking about uh, human uh, what do you call it? When we're talking about syn- synthetic genes. Yeah, trans, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, transhumanism yeah. and, and mm. when they deal with synthetic genes and transforming yeah. the, the genetic makeup of or, or the DNA of a person. Yeah. That's mm. not biblical actually. Mm. Because it says you are, you are being transformed, you are being made in the you uh, according to the design mm. of a certain human being mm. or a group of human beings. Mm. That you are being altered to suit a certain Design. Yeah. So being made in a in someone's idea. Mm. So God made you as a human being to live as a human being. Mm. That He shall do everything by Himself to you. Yes. But science comes in and does something else mm. on their own. Mm. Then there becomes a, a clash. Yeah. I have applied to you that this the, the, the when people are for this, mm. which is a transhumanism, mm. it means they have decided. To be altered or live by someone's principles or design. Yes. But when you live as a Christian, you are altered and become a new creature by the design of God. Yes. So most Christians live based on what people have said, mm. what science has said, mm. what the books have said, yes. what their mother grew up telling them. Mm. They never go in the Bible to check, you understand? Know yes. They never go into the scriptures to see for themselves what did God really say. Yes. Paul says, don't even believe us. Mm. <laughs> Paul says, if you come preaching against this word we have given you, yeah. don't believe us. This is Paul talking. Mm. Don't believe us. Yeah. If any man or an angel mm. or even me myself, mm. I come to preach you a word contrary to this good news of Christ, yes. let me be a curse. Mm. If an angel comes saying something else different mm. to Paul, <laughs> that angel is going to be cursed. Yes. If Paul comes and changes, like that time I'm changing something, mm. it means he is going to be cursed. Mm. Why? The word is not is not respect of anything. Yes. What the word of God says, it doesn't matter what the man of God says. Mm. It doesn't matter who says it. It doesn't matter what I say. Yes. It doesn't matter mm. what who says. Yes. It says God decides things or judges things at the counsel of his word. Yes. Yes. Even God himself looks at the word. Yes. <laughs> So if God can, has an ability to look into the word and you mm. say you live and take other things, that's now a manifestation of foolishness, arrogance, and, 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 mm. and, and, and pride. See, ignorance and pride and all that, mm. isn't it? Mm. You're not living by your own will and your own things. Yes. yes I think it's over time. But you can it was over time. Mm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. So it's it's very important to understand, you know, what Christianity is to say. What exactly are you doing? You know, sometimes you must ask yourself these questions to say, what am I really doing uh, here in, 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 in Christianity? Or when you, when you read the Bible, when you're praying, what is happening? You know, you must have a consciousness to know exactly what is happening and understanding to know what you're doing. Because if you don't, then you may as well be wasting your time. You know, there's something that um, uh, James, James writes, if you go in James 1, 22, it's, very, it's a very common verse. It says, you know, it says that you must do, after reading the word, do the word. And then he further goes on to even show that even those who are religious, if they don't hold up to their principles, then it means their religion is worthless. Yeah. Imagine. So, if, so the, the word is even telling you that if you are not 
living according to the word, if you're not living according to what God has said, then you may as well be wasting your time. Mm. So just, you know, have a conscious understanding of what you're doing. To say when you're praying, what is happening? When you're worshipping, do you know who you're worshipping? You know, when you're reading the word, what's happening? What do you expect out of the word? Do you expect the Holy Spirit to teach you something? Do you expect, you know, uh, to get a ministration, to, you know, to, to learn something? You know, have a conscious understanding and and have that active step to do something. You know, as even even when you pray, you know, I was watching something and, and this man of God was just saying that you know sometimes some people lose if it becomes a a religious practice that you lose uh, the meaning of what's happening. That you, if somebody says pray, you just go in tongues. You don't even know what you're saying. You're just saying ah, as soon as I hit ten minutes, it's good. But you don't even know what's going on. You know, sometimes someone says, ah, I'm praying for you. And it, it literally ends there. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> that, 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 that's the prayer. Imagine. It can become so religious like that. What is the content even of your prayer? You know, my man of God says that, you know, it's not about the amount of time you put in prayer, but the amount of faith you're going to put in there. Yes. Do you actually believe what you're saying? So just have that conscious understanding of what you're doing. Yeah. It says, um, mm. pray is from your spirit. Mm. Pray is from your spirit. Mm. So if you pray just because you like bubbling words, they mm. call vain bubbling, by the way, it's mm. in the Bible. Hey. Vain bubbling. We just speak things and they all come out until the time it's the yeah. alarm. Wait, wait. Uh, the, the, the alarm it's time for me to stop praying it's mm. done. You, know, you didn't even say amen you didn't mm. even go anyway hey. there are some places there are places in let's say uh, prayer points you had you mm. didn't even finish mm. then there are some they be like ah, I, I, if I'm done I'm done I don't need to go further I'm mm. done I'm done yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? hey. but the prayer, prayer time is finished yeah. you know but because of time I want you to understand I ask yourself this valuable question what is Christianity to you? Who, who is God to you? Mm. Are you really living as a Christian? Well, if you don't ask this question now, you ask the master now. So let's uh, close. Hey. <laughs> yes. Um, Enoch is saying, Amen, that's powerful. The good news brings you to repentance. Amen. 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 So, so, this is, a, you see, we, can, we can't exhaust this subject. Yes. Of, um, the, so, we're not dealing with that. In general, we talk about uh, the judgment and the science of things. Mm. The science of things is the data, the research information, the accurate, the factual things. Mm. Then the judgment of things is where you deal with the intention of, of the things. Mm. Where we get the factual stuff or the facts, then we judge based on the facts. Mm. Or we judge to manipulate the facts in a certain way. Mm. When we know this is because of this and this is because of this. Mm. And this is the reason why we need this. Because science in, in its own self is useless, you understand? Yeah. Because it means you now you become a shell of a robot, you mm. understand? But if uh, that's why opinions differ on that because we are dealing with judgment. Mm. But your judgment should come from the word of God. Judgment is the ability, you understand? When you say, uh, when you discern or an interpret concepts and make a decision with the perception or a mindset of a certain thing, mm. you understand? Mm. So I'm saying that uh, when you live in Christianity, when you say worship, what is worship? Mm. When you say a Christian, what do you say? What do you mean a Christian? Mm. Uh, uh, the, so uh, I'm just gonna. We're now closing. Uh, there are questions that we will pose for you guys. It, it, it's. I think you should actually answer the questions yourself. For yourself, not for you to go move around preaching for people. But if you can actually preach and people get to say, you know, that mm. then the rapture happens in front of you, then you stay with the whole in your Bible. Like, <laughs> Imagine in the middle of evangelism, <laughs> then rapture happens before you're preaching to a God, a God because they, they said the Lord's Prayer. Yes. Then you are there after giving them, God says the thanks. They're gone. You are holding the Bible like this. Rapture has happened. Mm. Well, what that simply means is, Paul says, I'm, I'm learning the word for myself, lest I be a castaway. I think mm. we'll talk about that another time. So the time I, I said, the Lord, the people around me, when they pray, when they declare things, when they do things, mm. Their power always works. Mm. Mm. It seems like you always respond. How about me? Mm. Then I, I didn't expect to give, receive an answer. I received mm. an answer. No. <laughs> it says, they know, you know, they know who they say I am, mm. and you know what they say I 
I am or who they say I am. Mm. But who am I to you? Mm. So once I answered that question, things changed in my life. Mm. Some Christians will, will never be effective because they, they, will ne- they don't know who God is to them. Mm. So let's just let's raise your hands. Mm. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. I bless your holy name. Father, let the spirit of your word of Almighty Father be with them, Father, who truly believe your word of Almighty Father. Mm. May they be changed, Almighty Father. May they receive something, Almighty Father. May they be testifying the next time we meet each other, Almighty Father. Mm. May they be testimonies all around, yes. Father. For your words, Father, is not just in speaking your word, Father, in preaching, Father, or in enticing words, Almighty Father. But this is a demonstration of power in results and in signs and wonders, Almighty Father. Father, may whatever they have been lacking, like, Almighty Father, may it be fulfilled, Almighty Father. Amen. May they receive knowledge, Almighty Father, the truth that will make them free, Almighty Father. Oh, that will make them live like the contract. Father, teach them not to interpret principles of the Bible using the world systems, Almighty Father. Amen. Father, Father may they use everything that they that you have given them, Almighty Father, mm. to judge principles and stay safe, Father, in all the parameters of God. Father. May the good news come out of their mouth, out of their hands, everywhere about them, Almighty Father. Amen. May the good news be associated with them, Almighty Father. Yes, Father, I pray for healing, Almighty Father, for those who have sickness in their body, Almighty Father. Father. By decree, declare, Father, if any sickness travels with them, Almighty Father. Father, for those that believe, Almighty Father, Teach them to believe, Almighty Father. Give them the word of God that they should believe that they may be saved, Almighty Father. May they be cleansed, Father, from all diseases, Almighty Father. May they be changed the situation, Almighty Father, of their system in their body. Father, may they know that the system they are operating by and they submit to is different from the system of the world. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. I bless the world. May you may everyone who has participated be blessed, Almighty Father. Amen. Amen. Their lives never be the same in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So we are not out of good news, but just out of time. Mm. We believe in uh, good news mm. because we believe in God. God. So good news is the wisdom that you speak mm. from your spirit. Amen. You don't speak wisdom from your mind, but from your spirit. Amen. Just remember that as you speak the good news. Speak the good news in your life. Yes. Just speak success. Mm. Refuse to speak failure mm. or negativity. For it shall yeah. torment you and become your king. Oh. Mm. But, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Stay blessed. <laughs>